the build up and the excitement for before Christmas and then you open everything Christmas Day um, and then the excitement dies down and you're just left with a giant mess of stuff to organize and put away and uh, Christmas was just yesterday and I'm exhausted but also I cannot look at my house in this state for long otherwise it's gonna stress me out and I need it to be cleaned up for Jace's birthday tomorrow for me to set stuff up for that um, so we got to get all of this stuff like organized somehow I don't even know where I'm gonna keep any of this stuff and get the Christmas decorations put away and get everything straightened Mom. up so much fun Mommy. even do this thing anymore but I'm gonna kind of go through some of this stuff what I slash we got for Christmas so I got myself this Google Nest Hub with gift cards that I got from my family because I really wanted technically I really wanted an Alexa but the way my gift cards were set up it wouldn't really work so I just went with the Google Nest instead they kind of do the same thing so I'm pretty excited about this that way, you know, I can play my music and stuff and not have to fight over the TV with the kids all the time. Nana got Jace his little first Christmas ornament. And she got me this set of um, mugs. Cute little coffee mugs. She got some bath towels for us. She got us this dish set, which I didn't really pull it all out and look at it. I just kind of looked at one of them. All right, so Nana got me this dish set. So it comes with the dinner plates, the, I don't know what you call these, like little mini plates and the bowls and the mugs that go with it. And then at Great's house, I don't necessarily know what is from who, but they got this iced drink sleeve. This is mine. My brother now. It's pretty cool. It has like a little handle. <clears throat> got me a big water um, or stainless steel tumbler. It's crazy that this says 40 ounces, which is the same size as my Stanley, but this one looks so much bigger for some reason. Some little house slipper thingies. This was Jace's shirt. Me some otter socks. It's an otter drinking boba tea. Wait, exhilaration. Is that Target or Walmart? I think it's Target. Cause I was about to say, I haven't seen any. I have like all of the otter sock options that Walmart carries. <laughs> Um, I got a Starbucks gift card. I got these balm huggies. Little keychain lip balm holders, which is cool. And then I got this Bitch Sticks. Um, it's a SPF 30 lip balm, which is cool. I don't have any of that. I don't have any chapstick that has sunscreen in it, so that's good, especially for in the summertime, because my lips always get like sunburn chap, and that's the worst. 
I got this thing that I've really been wanting. I have always, always, always wanted a KitchenAid, but those things are expensive. And um, then I saw someone talking about this, how it was like really nice and comparable to the KitchenAid, but it is nowhere near as expensive. So I looked into it. And Drew Barrymore's line is like actually so pretty. I wish I could replace all of my appliances with her line, but I can't throw out perfectly good appliances. So, you know, if once we get another house and all this stuff breaks down, I would probably replace all of my kitchen appliances with her line because it is so pretty to me. Um, so yeah, I got the Drew Barrymore line um, stand mixer, which was one of the things that I had put on my list. I believe that was from Great. Once again, I'm not sure. Like it didn't really, it didn't really label who was from who or what was from who. So I don't know. Some's from Great. Some might be from Muma. Not totally sure. These are probably from Muma. Whenever me and Christopher first got together, I talked about how I liked, I really liked these things, and she used to get them for me when we, um, when Christopher lived with her, and I was always over there. And I probably haven't had them since then. Like that was back in like 2016, 2017 before we moved to Ohio. I don't know that I've had them since then, but I used to like, she used to always get this for me when we first got together. I didn't really get to see what the girls got from over there because I was like helping with Jace. So Ashlyn got this cute mini outfit. It's a sweatshirt and I'm guessing these pants go with it. They got these things, I kind of saw their frozen push pop like silicone thing so you can make your own little push pops. And she got a Minnie Mouse sweatshirt. These little like, um, I don't know what you call these kinds of things, but it looks like a little Switch, a little Nintendo Switch, but it's like a, a game where you gotta try and land the rings on the pegs. Oh, they got little snow globe thingies. And then at Great and Moomaw's, at Great and Moomaw's, Jace got this little shape sorter thing. And he got, um, I haven't get this out of the box yet, but it's like a, I think it's a piggy bank toy. These knives suck. It's like the first thing I need to replace is our knife set. but it's a little piggy bank toy. And he got a leapfrog book and a little driver toy. It's got a lot more bells and whistles than the one we have. I think the one we have I got either with London and Ashlyn. I have no idea where it came from, but we have it somehow. Um, the puppy likes to go for a ride. All right, you need to turn off. And then he got a little drum. Look at all your toys, bud, and your birthday's tomorrow, and you're gonna get more stuff. And these little cars. I don't know where I'm gonna keep all your stuff, bud. I need to build a stash of baby toys upstairs because mostly all of his baby toys have been downstairs. And then my family, um, the girls both got a little pop-up tent. Jace got this little, um, like, singing giraffe toy from Nana. Baby microphone from Nana. Mimi got him this little nesting toy. And she got him one of the little remote teethers because he's obsessed with remotes. What that? Oh yeah, and Jace got this little, like, Nintendo Switch controller looking thing. I think this came from Great's house. From... My family, Mimi got him these little <laughs> toys. And Nana got me this um, like collectible holiday bear. I feel like I used to have these as a kid. But she said she got me this one because it has the year 2000 on it and I'm a 2000s baby. So she got me a 2000s holiday bear.
Oh, ah, such a freaking mess. I got the Christmas and stuff out, but uh, still all of these. And putting that tree away made me think, I think I want to replace, I think I want to replace our ornaments for next year because I've lost like all of the ornaments that we had. So there's not really many left and they're kind of gross and dingy. So I feel like I might want to try and replace those if I can find any Christmas stuff on clearance. And I also apparently need to replace our stockings now because one of the dogs completely ate, completely ate through the stocking. I'm assuming there was candy inside the stocking that they really wanted. So they ate through the stocking to get to whatever was in there because I found a shredded up stocking on the floor. So probably need to replace our stockings as well. And technically I also need to replace our Christmas tree that we literally just got last year because all of the lights went out on it. Like first the middle went out, then the whole bottom went out. Then I strung other lights around to fix it to make it look even. And then the top went out. So that entire tree is out now. And there's no way for me to replace all the lights on that. So I technically need to replace it, but I doubt I'd be able to find one that I even like this late with everything on clearance and stuff. Um, and I don't really like, I'm sick of buying Christmas trees. Do you know how many Christmas trees we've had to buy? In the past like five years, it's ridiculous. We've probably bought like six Christmas trees just in the past five years. And that's such a freaking waste, dude. Like we just got that one last year. Mom. Although it would be nice to have another one. Probably not gonna do that yet. So I might just have to buy string lights next year and just wrap lights around it instead. And maybe if I can, just cut the pre-lit attachments off because it was a pre-lit tree, but they all don't work anymore. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get those off. But that's a problem for next year, but I do wanna try and find stockings and ornaments now while they're on clearance and just save it for next year. Um, huh? Yeah, but now we're down one stocking and I don't want one per- we're down a stocking and I don't want one stocking to be different from the other four. Plus those are just like cheap ones that I got last minute last year when we didn't have any. And I didn't want to spend a million dollars on stockings. So I would like to get some cuter, nicer ones, but I'm not about to spend $10 per stocking for a family of five. Like that is so ridiculous to me to drop $50 on stockings. And that's kind of still on the lower end. So hopefully I can find some nice ones on clearance because I do kind of want to go to Target today. The kids have some Christmas money to spend. There's some stuff I want to look at that I need to get because they've like broken all my dang makeup and I'm running out of things. I ran out of makeup remover. They broke my blush. They broke my bronzer. <laughs> like, So I kind of want to go to Target today and I'm also still upset that I didn't get to look in the dollar spot last time. Bullseye Playground, whatever you want to call it. I always call it the dollar spot, even though like technically it's not just like all a dollar. It's just what I call it. But last time we went to Target, I was like so frazzled and like all over the place that I completely forgot to look. Um, and uh, I want to make sure I look this time because a Target trip is not a successful Target trip if you don't look in the dollar spot. We need to get this stuff cleaned up and at least like in piles, what needs to be downstairs, what needs to be upstairs, so that I can get a game plan of if I need to get any more like shelves, boxes type stuff to keep toys in. Um, you know, because our coffee table got broken and we stored a lot of stuff inside the coffee table because it was a lift top. So I usually would store like coloring stuff in there and maybe games don't have that anymore so I need to figure out like where I'm gonna store all this crap down here um, so that I know if I need to look for anything else to buy to organize with 
guys. Um, I'm thinking, so we've got this cart that we usually use for downstairs toys and it's turned into an absolute disaster. And I think I wanna put, take all this stuff off and turn this into Jace's area. I'll move the cart somewhere else, but I think I'm gonna turn the cart into like a Jace toy storage spot. Um, and then we've got that chest thing over there that is kind of like a toy box for like bigger items. Um, but I need to find somewhere to keep like their set stuff, you know, like their, they've got the mini house and the Gabby house, which I'm debating moving those upstairs. Um, so yeah, I need to figure out which toys are going to be downstairs toys and which toys are going to be upstairs toys. Um, and I kind of want to switch stuff around upstairs. Um, and you know, I'm going to put bigger stuff in that. Out. London's easel that Santa got her has like little baskets in the bottom that I think I'm gonna start storing coloring stuff in so what I'll easel? keep their coloring books and stuff in the bottom of that um, but I need to figure out where to Mommy, keep like smaller character set type stuff for them it has princesses on it yeah I don't know why they keep calling that a mini toy when it's princess. I say princess. I heard you call it mini toy too. God, it is a disaster in here. Oh, and this UTI is driving me insane. It's really hard for me to get things done whenever I feel like I have to pee 24 seven. And um, every time I stand up, I'm literally almost piss myself because of it. I have like no control over my bladder right now. Um, so getting stuff done is kind of hard because the whole time I feel like I have to pee. And if I haven't gone pee really recently, then I almost piss myself. You know, I haven't had one in so long and I don't have anything to take Mom. besides ibuprofen and ibuprofen ain't gonna do much. What? The, that thing with the dry erase board, it's called an easel. You can color on it, you can paint on it, you can write on it. And there's also a bath. There's also two baskets. Okay, I asked y'all to clean up the colored pencils and the markers and stuff and put them all back in the in the crown box. I know. Yeah, so do it. Mother. I got my sleepy boy. And then obviously I talked about how Christopher let me order my Papazon chair. For Christmas this year which this has literally been my dream chair for almost like 10 years like ever since my um to my aunt when she got with her husband years ago um his daughter so her stepdaughter had one of these chairs in her room and when they like lived together Chase is always trying to flash y'all whenever they lived when they first started living together um and like me my cousin and then his daughter are all roughly the same age i'm a little bit older than them when they lived there and i would go stay over there his daughter had one of these chairs and literally every time that i was over there i slept in that chair and ever since then i have wanted one of those chairs so so bad and i finally freaking got one and so to go along with that i grabbed myself a blanket to go with it because of course I need a throw blanket for me to be comfy and cozy when I'm sitting in my chair um because you know I'm hoping that I can like also use this chair out on our balcony right here because we've never used our balcony because we don't have a chair for it but I just think it would feel so nice on like cool nights to just sit outside in this big comfy chair with a blanket and a book it just sounds so magical so I needed a blanket because I can't sit without a blanket in my big comfy chair so I got this nice like um, soft cheetah print blanket cozy knit throw that I picked out and then lastly for my mom she got me a new robe 
Which I like this one because it's like a full size one. This one's like a full size one because my other one has like a hood which is actually kind of too bulky for me and I don't like it. And it's a short one like it cuts off like a, like a, a normal jacket kind of. But this one is long and goes like all the way down. And it's nice and soft and it's cheetah print. And this would also be nice for me to like wear in my chair outside when it's chilly out um, while I read and stuff. We really need to finish cleaning up so we can get ready and go. Gotta get ready and go to Target and I gotta pack them a bag because they're staying with my mom tonight so that I can take Jace out on his one-on-one -on -one time for his birthday tomorrow. Um, yeah, are you telling them? Are you telling them too? Tell them. Say my birthday's tomorrow. Say I'm gonna be one tomorrow. Kids and I are ready to head out and run to Target and then go to Mimi's. Are we running the Kinda scared to to bring all this. So I'm already feeling stressed from dealing with all this. I'm already feeling stressed from all the mess of Christmas. And this UTI isn't helping. Make it hard to get anything done. Now my stomach hurts. Like, just not having a good time. I have a freaking ton of $2 bills and stuff from that Christmas party from winning games. And, uh... <laughs> I'm kind of like anxious to like I wanted to use this cash to do our stuff today um, but I'm anxious to use it because I like would feel really awkward and bad having to make someone like count all this crap <laughs> spent freaking two hours in Target and the whole time I wished I had dropped the kids off first and then came with just me and Jace because oh my god the girls were freaking on one today. I was getting so freaking frustrated. I honestly don't know how I even spent like two hours in Target because it doesn't feel like I even got that much stuff. I got the doggy. Pause. I got the shelf, cube shelf thing. It was like a, I think it was a four Is that Bella or square Dixie? one. And I got these like clear containers. Mom. That's Bella. Um, I needed Bella. dishwasher pods and dish soap. Broke it. Um, there wasn't that. really, like the Christmas section was very, very picked out. But I did find this in the um, dollar spot. And I thought it was cute. And I never have things that are like short enough to fit. I got this for Christmas. I never find any things that are short enough to fit on my decorative like stand things. Like everything's always too tall for them. Way. So I grabbed that. We needed some more hair ties. I saw this in the dollar spot and was like, mm, that's kind of useful. So I grabbed it. Um, some AA batteries for Christmas stuff. And some Ziploc bags. London insisted on another pack of underwear because she does not like how any of them fit besides that new pack I bought her. Where's your um, bag for here? I got this cute little sweater for Jace. Like with, with blue and red? Yeah. I needed a new sponge, um, some more primer, some command strips to try and hang a shelf in the bathroom, some more makeup remover to test out, new blush, white nail polish. Oh, I got two blushes actually. Some underwear, because all my underwear disappears. 
And then lastly, help your sister. I grabbed two outfits for my sister because my mom was just saying how like she doesn't really have anything for her size because all of the clothes I gave her from the girls for some reason skipped Raven. six to nine months. So I grabbed this little nine month sleeper that says little sister and then this little Raven. six to nine month outfit that's really soft and cute. Little shirt and pants set. Grab Bojangles. I was trying to get it for all of us, but um, they didn't have my chicken tenders, so I just grabbed the kids a meal because I, I felt too bad to just drive off like I was tempted to do, so I grabbed their food. I don't know what I'm going to eat. Give me all your love, give me all your love